Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes, Come yes. on on, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on on, everybody. Come on on. Come on on. Come on on. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're Praise so thankful. Hallelujah. Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Praise Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. We know a lot of Thank people you, are out Jesus. barbecuing and <laughs> doing what Hallelujah. they do. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. Hey, Bernice. Praise how you doing? Watching. Praise Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on on. Yes, God. Yes, Hallelujah. God. Come Hallelujah. on on. Come on Hallelujah. on. Hallelujah. Hey, Bernice, that's my friend right there. Yes, God. We're so thankful. Come on on, everybody. Praise Come on Lord. on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. We are so grateful. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the midst of being tired. Hallelujah. Yes, we're oh. tired to this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we're pressing. We yes, are pressing. Hey, Artisha, my little niece. Praise God. Praise hey, the sweetness. Lord. Praise the Thank Lord. you, Lord. Y'all come on on as you come on. Hit the oh, share button. Good. Hit the like button for us. Hallelujah. Let us know that you support us. You're down with us. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. We are with those millers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The new beginning <laughs> prayer ministry broadcast yes, on this yes, evening. Sir. Hallelujah. Yes, we're no people probably still out barbecuing and doing what they do for the fourth. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to be honest. We don't celebrate the fourth. We don't. Mm -mm. We don't. When you learn about these things and what you're doing and what they represent and what what is they about, you, you'll know why you do what you do and why That's you don't right. do what you do. That's we don't right. celebrate the fourth. Yep. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> but hallelujah in a high. Hallelujah. I tell you yes, what I Bernice say, not feeling best, but she's pressing. Pressing. It's pressing. a pressing it moment is. today. We are, we are tired, but we're still going on. Mm. You know, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. We would have knew earlier, hallelujah. But, but you know what? It's a pressing way. We pressing way. We, we hanging mm. on in here. Hey, Whoa, Sarah, how baby. you doing? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hey, why? Hallelujah. Why? Hey, Willie, how you doing this evening? God bless you. Uh, Hallelujah. We know we didn't want to let you guys down. I said, baby, it's too late to cancel out. We're going to go forward in and out. So we are here. <laughs> we are here. We are here. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're tired in the body, but we're pressing on. It is Praise a pressing Lord. way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say this, Queen. You, know, yes. we, you were talking about the 4th of July there a few moments ago. And and I don't celebrate the fourth either because that's that was not the ultimate day of my freedom. Come on, baby. I actually when it comes right down to it, my freedom did not occur until September the eighteenth. Come on now. Nineteen eighty three. Because that's when I found freedom in Jesus Christ. <laughs> amen. But on a national it's level, just... amen, we have to learn the history as Queens. It is so important that we learn the history behind these things. Amen. A lot, of other, a lot of these other holidays as well. We need to learn the history Amen. behind those things because once we once we learn the history behind things, it should give us a different approach. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody type in the comments, different approach. Different approach. Yeah, we got to, we got to, we got to learn to see things different. That's right. Understand Amen. why. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to know why. We got to know why. We, a lot of us be a part of organizations mm -hmm. and be in different things and we don't know what's behind the meaning of what we're in. We need to know what we're in. Hallelujah. You know, what's behind it, what it represents, yes. what it means. Hallelujah. We love you too, Jasmine. Yes, Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just, you know, I've never been the type of person to follow anybody. I'm glad I always had my own mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people follow other folk just because they, they lead and they're going to I don't do that. I yes. want to know why I'm a part of what I'm a part of. What does it mean? What That's it represents? Right. That's right. You know, even the words we say out of our mouth, we have to be careful these things, Ooh. calling people divas. <laughs> well, we ain't no divas. We are yeah, queens. You better say something, queen. Huh? We are queens. Don't I call know. nobody no diva. No you divas. speaking something on that person that's mm. demonic. You that we thing. are not right. divas. We are queens. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to know what you what you, glory, you know, what you about, who you about, what you represent. All about you know? standing for the truth standing and walking for the in truth. truth and knowing Don't the you want to know the truth? I know That's I right. do. Amen. Hallelujah. When you in error, you want to get back. I want to be correct. That's right. 
And the Bible says when you know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Make you free. That's what the Lord Hallelujah. says. John 8, 32. Ye shall know the truth. Amen. The truth. Hallelujah. Thank God for Prophet Elson Scott. Amen. 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 sir. God we bless just you. give God praise. Knowing the truth. Knowing Amen. the truth. And That's this is right. the time that we must know and stand That's for right. the truth. Amen. Stand for what's right. Stand Hallelujah. for the truth. Then yes, we wonder God. why things are not happening in the church. <laughs> because we because of what we are what we're believing. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And what we're saying that, you know, I'm just saying, be careful. That's when you right. say things out of your mouth, know what amen, you're amen, saying. Amen, amen. No woman is a diva. Hallelujah. You're speaking demonic <laughs> when you talk about somebody as a diva. Ain't nobody no diva. We are queens. So we need to know. We Hallelujah. need to know what we are saying we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. These organizations, you better know what you in, Hallelujah. what you are there talking about you represent. Because I do not represent the boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. I don't. Oh, no. And I found out what it is, and I'm not going to say that I didn't used to, because I did. But I don't represent the four. That's Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. We got to know what we represent. When to you know better, better, you do better. When you know Hallelujah. better, you do better. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise Praise Come on, on, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, on everybody. Come on, let's Come on get, get that light button. Get the share button. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Let them know, hey, we are on. Church. We are pressing, but we're here. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, everybody. Praise oh, the Lord. Oh, Hit the share button so somebody else, hallelujah, can be a part of this, you know, throughout the week. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I go back sometime and I watch the lives. Hallelujah. And they just bless me all over again. Praise the Lord. Come on on, everybody. We are thankful. Hallelujah. We're tired in our bodies, but we are here. Hallelujah. 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 And I got to go to work soon as this live is over. I got to go pull these 13 hours, but I'm going to do it. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, He's gonna help me get through it. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know it'll work on Monday night, but I gotta work tonight. All right, Hallelujah. I'm gonna ask Queen and God brother to get their mic. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Because in spite of being tired, or in spite of being depleted or exhausted, we still believe that prayer changes things. Prayer changes. Come on, say prayer. Prayer changes things. Yes. We gonna do that this year, y'all. Yes. When you get tired, she 
is going to come. Hallelujah, God. Some say, meet you at the river. I don't know where the river is, God. But wherever you at is where I want to be, God. Lord, we thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. But all of us, one day, hallelujah, may have to, hallelujah, press our head upon a dying floor. God, when that time comes, and our time is up on this side, God, I ask you, be there, hallelujah, to receive us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah. Well, you say some of us are be caught up in the air, hallelujah. God, I don't know what my time is, but whenever that time may be, God, I ask you to be me. Hallelujah. Be right there, hallelujah, to receive me, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name Lord, of we Jesus. thank you for this ministry, Lord. You've been going with us for a while, God, and we thank you for it. We thank you for everything that you have done. We give you concerning the ministry, God. Continue to keep us strong, God. No matter what might come out of the way, God. Keep us, hallelujah, Lord. Keep us strong, God. Keep us lifted up, God. Keep us propped up on every leaning side. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, for everything that you have done. And Lord, touch our bodies. Whatever's in us that's not of you, I ask you to remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Every illness right now, touch it right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever the case may be, God, touch in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lay it at your feet right now by faith, God. We know you're able to take care of us, God. And we're depending on your blessings, country as a whole, God. And Lord, we just thank you for everything. All these and other blessings in your darling son, Jesus Christ, we do pray. I just want to say, I just want to say. I just want to say, I want to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I realized, Lord, that it wasn't anything yes, good God. that I yes, did yes, or I could ever do, Lord, That's right. that I would That's be counted right. worthy to Amen. be in this house tonight. Amen. Lord, I realize that it's all because of your goodness because of your and because of your mercy. Hallelujah. Lord, we take no credit for yes, anything. Sir. Hallelujah. Yes, we give you all the praise all tonight. The praise. Somebody to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God, amen, for, uh, for another opportunity, amen. Amen. amen, to come to you, amen, by way of Facebook yes, Live, amen. Yes, I want to quickly say that this is the day that the Lord amen. has amen. made, amen, yes, and hallelujah. I will rejoice and, and gonna be glad in it, hallelujah, yes, amen, I believe tonight if you give me about 20 minutes of your time, I'm going I'm to say what I need to say and get yes, on out God. your way, hallelujah, yes, we have been talking for the last couple of weeks about understanding and operating in authority. We understand, amen, from the Bible tells us in Matthew 28, amen, verses 19 and 20, Jesus talking yes, to his God. disciples. He said, glory to God, when he rose from the dead, he said, all power is all given power. unto me. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody say all. All. Yes, he said all power. Hallelujah. And we told you that word power translates yes. as authority. Amen. amen. He says all exousia. Exousia meaning authority. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, all of it's mine. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. When he rose from the dead, glory to God, he didn't get up partially empowered. He got up fully empowered. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Praise the Lord. Let me read these, let me read these verses again. Amen. Amen. Just so we can just, just for reference sake. Yes. Amen. Then we're going to get into what we're going to talk about tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew gospel chapter 28. Jesus spoken to them. Amen. In verse 18. Verse 18, Matthew 28, 18. Yes. Jesus came and spoke unto them, amen, saying, All power, All power amen, power. is given unto me in heaven yes. and in earth. He says, Go ye therefore, yes. hallelujah, and teach all nations. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Go teach. Go proclaim. Amen. Come on now. And when you go teach, you got to you got to, you got to teach the right thing. That's right. right. That's Hallelujah. Right. Here it's interesting because this word teacher, amen, it's really referring to the proclamation of truth. Amen. Yeah. Don't go and just give them a whole lot of opinion. That's Hallelujah. Right. Don't right. go and just give them a whole lot of religious jargon. Come on now. Don't go and give them a whole lot of uh, tradition of men. Hallelujah. Yeah, right. But when you go, make sure you give them a proclamation of truth. Amen. That's right. That's he says, right. "Go ye therefore." In other words, Jesus. Jesus is now authorizing his, his disciples, right. amen, to go in the same authority that he has. That's right. That's he said, right. all power is mine, yes. and therefore I am empowering you. Amen. He says, all authority is mine, therefore I am authorizing you. Amen. amen. It's like Jesus is the sheriff, and we are the deputies. Come on now. I mean, when the deputy goes, the deputy goes in the name of the sheriff. That's right. Hallelujah. He, the one deputy is the representative of the entire Amen. sheriff department. Amen. Amen. So the truth of the matter is when you're looking at the deputy, y'all yeah. be looking at the sheriff. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, go into all nations. Yes. This word nations, this is interesting, this word nations. This word nations, is, it, it means ethnos. Yeah. Ethnos means people. Amen. Groups of people. Amen. Yeah. Whether you're black, white, no matter what nationality right. you are, That's no right. matter what race you are, oh, no. the gospel is for all people. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's not a select group of people that the Lord is talking That's about. Right. He right. says, I want you to go to all people. Right. Amen. And I want you to preach this gospel Hallelujah. to them. I want you to proclaim the truth That's to them. Right. Hallelujah. Right. And teach them. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory right. be to God. And he says, and baptizing them in the yeah. name of the Father and of the Son and That's of the Holy right. Spirit. That's Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Then he says in verse 20, teaching them. That's right. That means giving instruction. Amen. Teach them to, to observe all things. Yeah. In other words, again, just to reiterate, the Lord is now instructing to the he's instructing the disciples to go forward and make disciples. Yeah. He's telling disciples to go make disciples. In other words, you can't make a disciple if you're not a disciple. Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, you can't empower others oh, if now. you're not empowered. Right. Listen to me. Hallelujah. You can't authorize others if you don't have an authority. You Hallelujah. You can't, again, you cannot empower others, glory to God, if you have not yet been empowered yourself. Amen. Amen. In other words, you can't you can't sell a product that you're not partaker of. Hallelujah. Amen. In Amen. other words, you got to be a partaker of the thing that you're trying to pass on to yes. somebody else. Yes. And the reason why many times, God, brother, our message is not as effective as it ought to be, it's because we're trying to sell something we ain't using. Ooh, my God. We're trying to proclaim something. Listen to me. Yeah. We're trying to proclaim something that we're not. Hallelujah. So it's time for us to let the Lord empower us. It's time for us to let the Lord really change us so that we can be the change Come agents in the world that Come we live in. Hallelujah. Understanding yeah. and operating in authority. Hallelujah. Come it is imperative in this hour. Hallelujah. Now. It's imperative in this season. Glory Come to God. On. That Come we begin to understand what authority is. Yes, Amen. Because one thing about it, y'all, you don't want, you ever want to put somebody in authority who don't understand That's authority. Right. And right. this is why you, even on, even on the natural police force, yes. this is why you got a lot of police officers who are abusing their position Hello. because they don't understand what authority is. Hello. Hallelujah. Hello. They don't understand that the authority comes from the very people that they are, are trying to rule That's over. Right. Y'all don't want right. to help me. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to understand that the authority comes from the people who God placed you over. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. So authority doesn't mean control. Hallelujah. Ooh, mm -hmm. Authority doesn't mean exercising control over yes. people. Yes. But authority means the establishment of order. Hallelujah. Right. The reason why the Lord gives us authority, glory to God, is so that order can be established. That's Hallelujah. Right. He's right. not trying to give you authority so you can yes. come, so you can manipulate people. That's Listen right. to me. He's not giving you authority so you can intimidate people. Right. He's giving you authority amen, so that when your presence come in, there's an order that comes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is an order. There's a calm. There's a peace yes. that comes into the atmosphere because we've been authorized to bring peace. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Let's move on a little further here. Glory to God. Amen. We're talking about authority now. Authority. We, we were talking about, uh, we asked the question, how much authority does Satan have? Amen. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is, hallelujah, Facebook friends, is that the devil really don't have any authority. Come Amen. We said that before the devil can really use authority, authority has to be yielded to him. Yes. And this is what happened in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Jeez. When Adam sinned in the Garden of Eden, amen, he forfeited the authority, amen. He forfeited the dominion that God gave him. You remember from the from the outset, God said, let us make man. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And we're going to make him in our image. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And we're going to make him in our likeness and we're going to let him have dominion. Hallelujah. God was talking about Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. Yes. And he was also 
talking about everyone that would be born after them. God created man to rule. Amen. You were created to rule your environment. Hallelujah. You were created to rule over your world. We talked about you ruling your individual world. Amen. I'm just trying to review a little bit so I can get you where I want to take you. Hallelujah. So we were called to rule our in our own world. Hallelujah. I can't rule your world. And anytime I try to you uh, try to rule your world, I have to operate in this controlling spirit. I have, I have to try to manipulate you. Anybody that's trying to rule in your world, they're doing it, they're trying to do it with means that God didn't authorize. Hello. Hallelujah. You have no power to just offer you to, to, to just rule in somebody else's world. Hallelujah. Right. You got authority over your children till they reach a certain age. That's Hallelujah. Right. But that's even when right. it comes to your own children at a certain point, you're gonna have to back up. Once right. they once they get a certain age, that's once right. they become accountable, right. once they become adults, yeah. amen. Your authority over them is over then. Y'all don't oh, talk. Hallelujah. Right. You got to back up and let them order their own affairs. That's Hallelujah. Right. And it's time for us to back up. Amen. And let people order their own affairs. That's amen. Right. But now I understand, I understand the reason why you would want to do that. Amen. Because what happens is, glory to God, we have to prepare people. That's and right. the way you prepare people, amen, to rule their own individual world, you prepare them by telling them the truth. That's amen. right. You prepare them by teaching them the truth. Yeah. Amen. You prepare them, glory to God, amen, by letting them know that God. God created them to rule as well. All right, let's move on a little further. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Let me keep on. Let me keep on driving and keep building here. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There are clear boundaries. And somebody say boundaries. boundaries. A boundary speaks of a barrier. Amen. In other words, you, 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 I mean, you get in trouble when you go beyond boundaries. Yes. Amen. Yes. Just like a river. You ever, you ever, anybody ever been to the river? Come on now. Yes. And the river goes on its course. The river may turn here, may turn there. Amen. But what is it that what is it that keeps the river on its course? It's called the river banks. Yeah. And the purpose of the river bank, the banks, which is the land on both sides, yeah. it serves as a boundary. Right. It serves as a border. Hallelujah. Oh, and the purpose of the border is to keep the river on course. That's well, right. I say that to say this, hallelujah. If we stay within God's boundaries, yeah. then our life will stay on course. Hallelujah. Yeah. The only reason our life, you know, the only reason people get off course is because they get outside of the boundary. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Your authority is inside the boundary. That's hallelujah. Right. Amen. As long as you stay in place. Hallelujah. Somebody say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. As long as you stay in your lane, hallelujah, your life will follow a prescribed course. Not Amen. Not there not is a destiny that God has prescribed for all of us. Yes. And again, one more time, as long as we stay within our boundaries, as long as we stay within our course, hallelujah, have no business trying to order somebody else's life. That's hallelujah. Right. I have right. no business trying to judge somebody else's thing. Hallelujah. Yeah. I got the word. I'm, 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 my, my concern, hallelujah, is to keep myself in the boundary. Yes. Somebody say boundaries. boundaries. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. We told you way back in Genesis that Adam surrendered this authority yes. and Satan seized that authority. Hallelujah. But we also see in the Garden of Gethsemane, glory to God, when Jesus was crucified more and more expressly when Jesus rose from the dead, yes. Jesus took back what was lost. Hallelujah. He took that authority back. Hallelujah. So when Jesus said on, the, on, on his resurrection day, when Jesus said, Amen. Here in Matthew 28, when he said, all power, yes. all authority is given unto me. He was referring to the authority that Adam lost. Yes. In other words, Adam forfeited his right to rule his world. Amen. And everything that Adam lost, Jesus got it back. Come on, say, I got, come on, say, he got it back. He got it back. And when Jesus got it back, the first thing he did was turn to the disciples. All power is mine, therefore you go. In other words, he was putting you back in place. Yes. And when he put you back in place, you've been now empowered to help other folks get in place. Come on, say, my job. My job. Is to help somebody. Is to help somebody. Get back in place. Get back in place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not to control people. Not to manipulate people. Not to try to intimidate people. Hallelujah. Your job and my job as the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ is to help people get back in place. Yes. It's to help them get back in their own individual authority. It's to begin to help them help help them get positioned, hallelujah, so that they can order their own affairs. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You shouldn't have to go and order folks' affairs for them. In other words, stop trying to live through people. Hallelujah. Stop trying to live for people. That's oh, right. y'all don't want to help me now. God wants us to live our own lives. Hallelujah. And in order to live your own life in an effective way, you have to be authorized. That's right. And this is the whole purpose for this teaching. So you can, so that we all can begin to understand and operate in authority. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Even when the Lord, even when the Lord allows Satan to do certain things, there is so much Satan can do. That's Hallelujah. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm about to blow your mind right now. A lot of this stuff that's happening in the world right now, y'all, the devil really ain't behind it. Folks are behind that's it. That's right. That's true, there. I'm going to say that one more time. A lot of this stuff that's, that's happening right. in the world, all this wickedness, a lot of that's this different right. stuff, all this old funny stuff that's Amen. happening. It, the devil's really not behind it. And folks are doing it because folks are yielding their authority. Watch this. And once you yield your authority, then you give the devil a playground. That's right. Amen. Come, Amen. On, come on, say this. Say yielding authority, yielding authority gives the devil, gives the devil a, playground. a playground. This is why the enemy is doing stuff. This is why the enemy is wreaking havoc in the lives of so many people. My it's Lord. because we, as the people of God, has yielded authority. We've That's given right. away our, we've given away our power. That's right. That's uh, right. but tonight it's time to take it back. That's right. Amen. Amen. The Amen. church needs greater revelation. Amen. Amen. Concerning the exceeding greatness of the power of God that is available to us. Hallelujah. Come on, say power. Has been made available to me. Hallelujah. And we got to begin to walk in what God has given us to walk in. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, this great commission. Now let's talk about this commission now. Hallelujah. Yay. Amen. Because I told y'all last time that some folks ain't nothing but a trip. Hallelujah. They get in your life and they'll trip you up. Hallelujah. But let's get back to the mandate. Say mandate. Mandate. The mandate is the equivalent of the assignment. Amen. Every child of God has an assignment. Hallelujah. And the enemy is trying to distract you from the assignment that God has for you. Right. Hallelujah. He's trying to get you so out of focus. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to drop this principle on you. People really don't fail because of a lack of confidence. Oh, excuse me. Let me say it another way. They don't fail because of a lack of competence. Hallelujah. They fail because of a lack of focus. Mm -hmm. Right. Competence means the ability to do. Yes. God has given all of us the ability to do whatever it is He's called you to do. That's right. right. Come on, say the ability to be. The ability, the ability to, to be is already in me. It's already right. in me. Everything God has gifted you to do, everything that God has enabled you to do, is already resident on the inside of you. So the devil knows that it's inside of you, but he's trying to mess with your focus. All right. All right. All right. Because if he can get us distracted, and all distraction is, all it is is broken focus. My Lord. Broken focus. If the devil gets you distracted, hallelujah, if he robs you of your ability to focus, Jesus. because once once focus is gone, direction is gone. My Lord. How many of you know, how many of you know, how many of you know, you got to have focus before you can have direction. That's right. right. Come on, say focus. Focus. Equals. Equals. equals clear direction. Clear direction. Clear direction. You can't travel clearly unless you focus. Hallelujah. The, the last thing you want to do is to get in the car with somebody who ain't focused. My Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A couple weeks ago, Queen and I went to the we went to the eye doctor. Hallelujah. And we, we went through a whole litany of tests. They, we had to look in this thing. They had, we had to look in this thing. They flipped all kinds of lenses in front of us. Amen. And the reason why, watch this, the reason why the ophthalmologist was flipping lenses in front of us is because he was trying to find the right lens, God brother, mm -hmm. that would give me focus. Right, right, right. Because, hallelujah. How I many know in order to read, you got to have focus? That's right. How I many know you can't read what you can't focus on? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And my main problem with my, with my sight, amen, I see pretty good off from a distance. Amen. But it's the stuff up close I can't see. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, 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 when you try, it's, when I, it's when I try to read. If I take these glasses off, the words get blurry. I can't see anything. Now I can see my attention system there real clear. But up close, it's just a blur. So what happens is there is a corrective lens, hallelujah, called a bifocal. Hallelujah. There is a corrective lens inside these glasses. I want y'all to hear me by the Holy Ghost. There is a corrective lens, hallelujah. And the purpose for this apparatus, when I put it on, it corrects my vision so I can have focus. Oh! Ah! Somebody say focus. Focus. And what, what right teaching does, Queen, it corrects our vision, yeah. hallelujah, so we can focus on the real matters of life. Right. Because a whole lot of stuff people been focusing on, really, it's not worthy of the focus Come that on, you've been giving. Hallelujah. On. There's a lot of stuff just ain't worthy of your attention. Amen. There's That's some right. stuff you just don't need to be wasting time on. Right. Some stuff ain't nothing but a waste of time, waste hallelujah. Time. And the sooner we learn that, hey, the better hey, off we're hey, going to be. Hallelujah. Right. We ain't come on saying, I ain't got time to waste time. So the Great Commission, this is why Jesus, when he rose, when Jesus rose from the dead, hallelujah, before Jesus went back, amen, to the Father on high, before he left, the first thing he did was gave the boys, he gave the disciples a mandate, he, hallelujah, and the mandate establishes the vision, hallelujah, the mandate gives you focus. 
Somebody holler, focus. focus. Hallelujah. So he gave us a great commission. Hallelujah. Amen. And, what the, and what the great commission is, watch this, watch, I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. It is the mandate to enter a war zone. Now, now. now maybe y'all don't realize this, but every time you go to somebody and tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ, every time we open our mouth to be a witness for the Lord, every time you do that, you are actually entering a war zone. My Lord. Mm -hmm. But you're not entering a zone necessarily that is fought with guns and knives, right. but you're entering a spiritual war zone. Spiritual. Hallelujah. You're entering, watch this, you're entering a war zone that's filled with concepts and ideology. You're entering a war zone that's filled with opinion, amen, and teaching, hallelujah. Because many times when you start talking to people about Jesus, you're coming, by, you're coming behind what five other folk done told them. And many times, sometimes, well, this is going to sound a little rough, but sometimes folks learn just enough in church to be confused. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Amen. There's some things I just didn't know at first. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes you can go to, but this, this is going to sound weird. Sometimes you can go to church and become an unbeliever. My Lord. Because many times in church, they're quick to tell you what they don't believe in. Well, we don't believe in this. We don't believe in that. We don't believe a woman should do this. We don't believe in a woman do that. You shouldn't do this. And we don't believe this. Well, somebody tell me, what do you believe? Amen. Because if you, stay, if you spend the whole sermon telling me what you don't believe, you make me an unbeliever. Ooh. Like this one. Right. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time telling you what I don't believe. I'm going to spend the duration of my time telling you what I do believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when I get through with you, I want you to be a believer Amen. too. That's Hallelujah. Right. The That's great commission. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. We, 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 have, we have a mandate. Hallelujah. We have a mandate to enter a war zone. It's a amen. battlefield. Amen. And anytime you go take the gospel, amen. Anytime you bear your testimony to other folks, amen. You are entering a war zone. Hallelujah. You're trying to persuade their mind. Listen to me. You're trying to, watch this, you're trying to correct their vision. Okay. You're trying to correct their focus, amen. Yes. Because many people are walking around distracted, amen. People are many people are walking around out of focus. Jesus. And you can see it in their life. My Lord. Mm. You can see, watch this. You can see broken focus in people's lives. Jesus. Hallelujah. I say you can see it. Hallelujah. Amen. I like what Prophet Scott just said, and he said, Your breakthrough is in your focus. Jesus. And Lord. focus, and I love what he said. Focus is simply another name for vision. Mm. Amen. Vision. Say vision. vision. The Bible says, where there is no vision, people perish. And that word perish, that means to cast off restraint. Yes. It means this, where there's no vision, people do anything. Amen. Right. Because if you, don't know what you, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, you'll do anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. And I mean, you know, God didn't just call us to do just anything. anything. Right. God, there's a commission. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. God. The hymn writer picked that thing up real good. And hymn writer said, a charge to keep I have. A God to glorify. Hallelujah. And ever dying soul to save. And fit it for the sky. Hallelujah. Somebody said, a charge. A charge. That's that vision. That's that focus. Hallelujah. That charge speaks of a focus. Hallelujah. We've been, fo we've been called to focus. Amen. And you got to zero in. Hallelujah. And you got to learn to shut out everything that does not contribute to your focus. You got to begin to de deny everything yeah. that does not, that is not conducive to what you are supposed to be focusing on. Anything that is not equivalent, hallelujah, yeah. to the great commission of God, to the great mandate of Jesus Christ. Right. If it ain't about Christ, it ain't about nothing. Right. Somebody tell me, it's, come on, say it's got to be about Christ. It's say got that. to be about hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah, that great commission, hallelujah. Right. That's what the commission is, go. Yes, he God. says, go ye right. therefore, go. Yeah. I want you to look at that word commission. She. Look at the word commission. Yeah. The word commission is actually two words. Mm -hmm. It's co, which means with. Co means with. Yeah. And then mission, which means an, an endeavor or a plan. Hallelujah. So a commission is to go with God in his plan. Amen. Commission. Yeah. Come on. Not just, watch this. Notice how I put, I, and, and I'm saying, I'm, I'm putting the emphasis there uh, for, for a reason. The word is commission, but yes. I'm saying commission. Because what the Lord wants to do, what, watch this, what God's going to do, he's going to do it on the earth through a people. <coughs> Amen. We are co-laborers. I want right. you to get right. your mind around this. Amen. We are co-laborers. That means we work with yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Mm. Come on, say I'm a co-laborer. I'm a co-laborer. Come on, say, I've been called. I've been called. To do his bidding. To do his bidding. Whatever he wants done. 
Come on, say, Lord, your will. Lord, your will. Is my command. Is my command. We are called to do those things Hallelujah. that bring glory to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Yes, whenever whenever you got saved, whenever you said yes to, yes to Jesus, yes. you were recruited as a soldier. Jesus. We say that song. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Hallelujah. We've been recruited as soldiers in the Lord's army. Amen. And our job, hallelujah, amen, is to go behind enemy lines. Jesus. To assert spiritual authority yeah. and destroy the works and the activity of demonic spirits. My Lord. Hallelujah. The problem with the church is we're so busy trying to be employed, but God wants you to be deployed. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my God! I got I got a soldier in the house. Hallelujah! Praise God! My niece is a soldier. She she she, she, yeah, yeah, she Hallelujah! Yeah. She is an honorably discharged soldier. Amen. Amen. You ever been deployed? Okay. She don't the word deploy. Deploy. That's on, not just that. employed. Deploy. Come on. Now. Hallelujah! Whenever you are deployed, that means you have been selected to go to a certain region or a certain area. Hallelujah! And exercise the might. Of the military of this country that you that whoever whoever deployed you. Mm -hmm. You're there on deployment. Watch this. You're not deployed to do your own thing. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. You're not deployed to just go have a party. And our problem is in the church is that we don't yet we don't yet realize that our that our time on earth is a deployment. There's some folks, the queen, queen right. ain't getting it yet, baby. Oh, my God. We don't baby. understand it. Our whole life, whole life. is a deployment. Oh Come on with You're in the service. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. And no soldier in the service. Yes, Watch this. Hallelujah. Whenever you whenever you go into service. Yeah. Now, Rika, correct me if I'm wrong here. I never, I never joined up. But she went in. Hallelujah. And the first thing she had to do, she at some point, she had to be sworn in. Jesus. My Lord. She had to be Come she had to swear or affirm yes. that she would uphold the Constitution of these United States mm -hmm. against all enemies. Yes. Foreign and domestic. And, 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 and something like that. You had to you had to you had to pledge allegiance. Hallelujah. When you hear a national anthem play, you got to stop on care where you're at. You got to stop and find a flag somewhere right. and put your hand over your heart. Because yeah. that's part of your deployment. I said that's part of your deployment. Come on now. When it comes to the service of the Lord, Come on, when it comes to being a child of God, we are in deployment. That means, watch this, whenever you are, whenever they swore you in, they might have said something to the effect, congratulations. You have now been inducted in the United States Army. Is that something like that? Something along those lines? Okay, hallelujah. Whenever you said, yes, Lord, hallelujah. When you said, Jesus, come into my heart. And if you mean it from your heart, hallelujah. You and if you believe it with everything in you, you have been inducted yes, sir. into on. the arm of the Lord. You have been inducted into the service of the Lord. You have been inducted into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So therefore, your life on earth took a shift. When you said, yes, Jesus, yes. you went from being employed to deployed. Lord, don't go. Come on, say it's a deployment. It's a deployment. And you're going to be deployed until the day you die. Yeah, Lord. Mm. Every day is a deployment. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Tomorrow when you go on your job as a child of God, you're going, in, you're going as a soldier in deployment. My Lord. And when you go on your job, you don't just represent you because as a soldier of the army, you are, you represent the entire military of the United States. You get your shit. And the authority is the executive branch of the government, which All is right. the president of the United States. He's your authority. Jesus. Right, that's Come on. You got, watch this. One soldier, watch this. You can go slap a person on the street, you know, he might get in a scuffle. But if you go slap a soldier, that's an, that, that, that's an international event. That's that's right. Right. If you assault a soldier, you just insulted the whole country. My Lord, my uh -oh. Lord, my Lord. <laughs> I said, if you were so, you know, you might again, you might just go hit a regular citizen, uh -huh. and the police will get you there, charge you with assault. Yeah, they should. Oh. But if you been trying to hit a soldier, come on now. All right, all right. that's a whole different ball game. You better talk. That's why you don't mess with children of God. That's what, ooh. <laughs> because when you mess with a child of God, come on, make it plain. You messing with a whole government. Yeah. God, God, I'm going to tell you about God. God gets an attitude by his children. Oh, my God. My God. 
we are deployed, amen, we're soldiers, amen, Jeez. hallelujah, I say we represent Jesus Christ, and we've been authorized, what's this, authorized to speak and act on his behalf, yes. hallelujah, you told you about these folks trip and let them trip, but don't let folks distract you from your deployment, yes. say I'm That's deployed, right. I'm deployed, and again, from the time you rise in the morning, you rise with the mindset of deployment. Right. Right. When you get to your job, you get to All your right. job from right. the time you drive up in the parking lot. Right. From the time you get out of your vehicle and go inside the building, All you right. go in your job, amen, with the mind of a soldier who is, who is deployed. Uh, Jesus, my Lord. You don't do your own my thing. Lord. Come on, say it ain't my thing. It ain't my thing. I'm deployed. I'm deployed. Say I've been inducted. I've been inducted. In the army of the Lord. In the army of the Lord. Say my job. My job. Is to influence policy. To influence policy. On behalf of my government. On behalf of my government. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what it is. Hallelujah. They take that. Watch this. Hallelujah. Watch this. They induct you into the army. This is this is where I'm going next time. Whenever they induct you in the army, then they send you a camp for a thing they call basic training. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. Because, watch this, because just because then you've been inducted don't mean you're ready to fight. Come on now. Right. You got to be trained. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So you become a disciple, if you will. Mm -hmm. You become a, 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 what they call the first level, private? private. Yeah. Private. Yeah, first class, yeah, I don't think. Private. You just, you just a buck private. <laughs> and then they send you to boot camp. Come on now. Why? Because they're teaching you how to act. And react like a soldier. Nice. Hallelujah. They take you out on the firing range. Jeez. They issue you your M16 or whatever it is. Mm. And you got to learn to fire that weapon. That's right. That weapon becomes a part of your body, so mm. to speak. Mm. Hallelujah. You, you learn how to clean that weapon. Come on. You learn how to disassemble it. Yeah. You learn how to reassemble it. In other words, you know, watch this. You know, you learn, you begin to learn what makes your weapon click. You know how to go, you know, you know how to divide it. Y'all gonna get this in a minute. Come on, say this is my weapon. That's my weapon. Hallelujah. Yes. And whenever you're not alone, you got to learn how to use, use. your weapon. Hallelujah. Yes. You got to learn how to go in and divide. Come on. You got to learn how to, you got to learn how to take it apart. You got to learn how to put it together. You got to learn how to put this yes. with that. Because yes. if you don't put this with that, hallelujah. And when the enemy comes, you throw that thing on your shoulder and you go to fire, you just gonna get a click because you didn't put it together right. Come on now. <laughs> I got, I got the clothes. I got the equipment. I don't want to, man. I'm talking about understanding and operating in a car. Hallelujah. Oh, let me see. Can I wrap this up? I got about two minutes. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I represent Jesus. I represent Jesus. Come on, say, I speak. I speak. And act. And act. On his behalf. On his behalf. That means when people look at you, they're looking at a little Jesus. Oh, my God. Because you ain't just trying to live for Christ. You live in Christ. Ooh, you live in him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sister, Jesus. when you walk in a place, Jesus walks in. Ooh, my God. This is the mindset we have. Yeah. Whenever, you were, whenever you were in active military, mm -hmm. this thing is so powerful that even after you even after you discharge, even after you can honor the discharge, watch this. There are certain benefits even available to her, even though she's no longer an active Amen. soldier. That's right. That's right. I went out to Lowe's this uh, this early in the day to buy some supplies. And before I paid for my it, my item, the woman asked me, do you have military discount? Mm. I should have given a reason. No. <laughs> but <laughs> I said, no, ma'am, I don't. And I had to pay full price. Because I watched this. Because I watched this. I, I could not claim, watch this, because I was never inducted into the military. All right, now. Because I never received a dishonorable discharge. Watch this. I was not able to take advantage of the benefit that was available to honorable discharge That's soldiers. Right. That's right. Come on, say, there are benefits. There are benefits. There are benefits to being in the army of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can get in places other folks can't get Amen. into. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right now, if, if right now, she decided she wanted to go work for the United States Postal Service. There is an exam Amen. you have to take. Hallelujah. And watch this. And before she watch this, before she even pick up a pencil to write anything on the exam, she's automatically given ten points. My Lord. Because she's a military ex an ex soldier. There are benefits. There are certain things that's, that's, that's available to her. She can go to the bank and get certain benefits. Because she's a former soldier. Yes. What are you trying to say, Pastor Miller? I'm saying you better learn how to operate, understand, and operate in your authority. And hallelujah. Because there are things that has been made available to you because you belong to him. Hallelujah. Yes. 
I'm out of time, but I ain't out of words. Hallelujah. I got a lot more to tell you in the, in the, in the coming session. Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you all. Hallelujah. You give God all the praise. Come on. Understand me. I didn't get to them, and I want to get into those dream killers. I'm going to talk about them dream killers, and, and I'm talk about these destiny hurdles, amen, because some folks are trying to kill the expression of God in your life, amen. and you got to recognize them when you see them, amen. Right. We got to recognize these things so amen. you can avoid them, hallelujah, amen. so you can point and send them on their way, hallelujah, Jeez. hallelujah, and we're going to get to it eventually, but let, let, me, let, let, let me just keep driving along. We're going to keep Jeez. driving along. Hallelujah. We're going to keep driving along until we really understand this authority thing. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Because, uh, because we'll be, we'll, once we understand this authority thing, we will become more effective in our fulfilling the mandate, which is the Great Commission. Amen. Great commission. That is not just the preacher's job. That's right. Come on, make it plain. It ain't just the pastor's job. That's right. We're all called to win souls. That's right. We're all we're all called to offer Christ. That's right. Correct. It's all our job to all invite our job. men, women, boys, and girls. That's right. That's to right. invite them to Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Queen, take a moment to speak to our people. Praise the and Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Another Amen. powerful word on tonight. Amen. Taking authority. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just good to be in the army of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, we got a right. Hallelujah, we can fight with the word of God. Hallelujah. And I'm thankful for that on this evening. Hallelujah. I just want to take time out to speak to everybody that came on after we started with the word. Hallelujah. Good evening to you. We thank you. Hallelujah for coming in, taking time out. Hallelujah. To spend some time with the New Beginning Prayer Ministry That's broadcast right. on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank God for you, you, and you. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're so yeah. thankful and we're grateful to each and every one of you all. And I just want to say I thank God for all of the ones yes. that Hallelujah are consistent with us on every week. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Yes, We've been going in on toiling on this road and journey for a long time. It's been almost three years. Hallelujah. Three years. Come March 2023 will be three years Facebook right. Live. Hallelujah. We have been consistent and we have stood the test. We have been going forward. Even when we didn't feel like it. You know, when you take, when you say, God, hallelujah, I surrender my all. Hallelujah. And I made a vow to the Lord that we will go when we don't even feel like it sometimes. And this was a pressing, how this was pressing on this evening because we were both tired. Hallelujah. But you know, we pressed on anyway. Hallelujah. And when you go and give God your all, hallelujah, he's going to make it be what he wanted to be. Hallelujah. We're thankful on tonight. We're thankful on this evening, hallelujah, for each and one of you. And we thank God for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, y'all. Hallelujah. I thank God for everybody, hallelujah, that took time out to come in on this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for you, you, and you. And we, we pray for your families. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for everybody in the house on this evening. Hallelujah. Those that came in, hallelujah, in person. Authorizing you, oh my sister.
need y'all to say that again. Hallelujah. I feel something breaking. Come on. Off of my you. for everybody Thank to come. You, Lord. He said, whosoever will, yes. let him come. Let him come. Without money, without price. Jesus. Come on. Come on. The hymn writer said, just as I am, yes. without one plea, and that thy blood oh, was shed for me. Yes, God. And that thou biddest me come to thee. Yes, O oh, Lamb of God. I come. Come on, say, I come. I come. That's all you got to do. See, religion disqualifies people, but let me tell you yes. something. The Lord simply says, come. Come. Well, according to the word, how do you come? The word, the word lays it out plain. Amen. Romans chapter 10. Amen. Verses 8 through 10. I heard a brother the other day trying to discount this, but that's what the Jesus. word says. And I'm going to stick with the word, but I'm going to stick with somebody's opinion. The word too. I don't care what nobody say. That's I'm right. going to stay with the word. The word says that the word is not the even in your heart. Yeah. That's the two places where it's got to be in order for you to be saved. Amen. It's right. got to be in your heart and it's got to get in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's the word of faith. Amen. Because faith is about what you believe mm -hmm. and it's about what you say. Mm -hmm. Did you know faith is released by what you say? Yes. Every day you affirm with your lips what you believe from the word. Amen. So this is how you get saved. He yes. says, for with the heart man believes mm -hmm. unto righteousness. That means man's belief, man's belief unto justification. Yes. And then his confession, the confession of his lips is made unto salvation. Yes. For with the heart man believes and is justified. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Glory to That's God. the word, y'all. Yeah. Tonight, I'm going to invite you, yes. those of you that are tuned in with us, Thank you, those Lord. that will watch this video at a later time, Thank you. I'm going to invite you to, to receive Christ. Yeah. And all you got to do is repeat some words and believe it with everything in you. Yes, I'm going to ask those in the house to say it Amen. with me, say it Amen. after me, and you all pray it with them. Say this, y'all. Say, dear God in heaven. Dear God, God in heaven. heaven. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am sorry. I am sorry for my sin. For my sin. And the way that I've lived. And the way that I've lived. I repent. I repent. I turn away. I turn away from the enemy. From the enemy. In my heart. In my heart. I believe. I believe. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came. came he was crucified. He was crucified. He died. He died. And he was buried. And he was buried. But on the third day. But on the third day. He rose from the dead. Rose from the dead. I believe that. I believe that. With my mouth. With my mouth. I now confess. I now confess. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is Lord. Is Lord. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is my Lord. Is my Lord from this day forth. From this day forth, I ask you, Lord I Jesus. I ask you, Lord Jesus, by your Spirit, by your Spirit, to live your life, to live your life through me, through me. Let somebody, let somebody see you, see you in me, in me, mm. and according to your word, and according to your word, which cannot lie, which cannot lie. I believe, I believe at this moment, at this moment that I am washed, that I'm washed. 
I'm cleansed. I'm cleansed. I am sanctified. I'm sanctified. I am justified. I'm justified. I am saved. Come on, get along. Hallelujah. Now, now here's what I want you to do. Watch it. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, if you prayed that for the first time, if you received Christ Jesus yeah. as your Lord and Savior tonight, yeah. I want you to inbox me and I want you to tell me about it. Why? So that Queen and I can rejoice Amen. with you. Amen. 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 Right. We can rejoice with you. And also, I will interact with you. I promise you, I'll correspond with you. We'll interact with you. Praise we'll God. send you some scriptures, something that will encourage you. Mm. Amen. We are so excited about the journey that you're now on. Thank We're so excited, Jesus. man, about teaching this word, this book, uh, present, the present study about understanding and operating in authority. Yes. We're going to continue this same vein on next time. Hallelujah. God, the Lord stepped in tonight and he helped us. Queen. Yes, he, he did. did. We, yes, were, we he were tired did. tonight, but Amen. God. God, God showed himself strong in our behalf. Amen. And we give him praise and I yield the floor back to Queen. She's going to close it Just out. Just a few announcements that we would like to bring to your attention. Hallelujah. First of all, I would like to welcome you to the New Beginnings Fellowship Church where we have church every Sunday. Hallelujah. At 11 o'clock. Hallelujah. Also, we have Bible study. We call it the Adventurous uh, Adventures in the Word Bible study that we have on Thursday night starting at 6 30, only one hour. 6 30, 7 30, we're done. But I tell you, it's some powerful things that happen in that one hour. Hallelujah. We welcome you to come out. Hallelujah. To our church services every Sunday and also to our Bible study that we have every Thursday starting at 6 30 to 7 30. Also, we have a praise and worship program that's going to be approaching on the 16th of July. Hallelujah. And we're just going to praise and worship God. Hallelujah. We would like for you to be a part of that as well. So come out. Hallelujah. At 6 o'clock on that Saturday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just come on out and let's praise and uplift the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you all. Hallelujah for coming in on this evening. Hallelujah. And just being a blessing to us as well as we hope we were a blessing to you. We thank God for each and every one of you all. We thank God for you that come on faithfully every Monday at 630. Hallelujah. It's a blessing and we thank God for you. Hallelujah. I thank God for each and every one that's came in on tonight. My God, Brother Richard Teller Jr. Hallelujah. My neighbor. Hallelujah. Little sister Martisha. Hallelujah. Tony Bellman. My God, Sister Shamara. Hallelujah. Hunter. Hallelujah. My niece. Shantari, Magala, and my little great niece, Alea. We call her Mama. She's in here on tonight. We thank God for each and every one of you all. I thank God for this awesome man of God, my pastor as well as my husband. Hallelujah. Pastor Tommy Miller. Hallelujah. I thank God for him. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful. Hallelujah. To be doing life with this man. Hallelujah. I am just so blessed. And I thank God for each and every one of you all. All of our viewers. We thank God for you. If you only knew how we talk and brag on you guys. We are so thankful for each and every one of you all. We ask you to continue to pray for us as we will continue to pray for you. Hallelujah. So we're going to see you guys. Hallelujah. Next Monday. Hallelujah. At 6 God bless you guys. Bless you. you all have a blessed night. We love Hallelujah. We thank Next you. Monday. Good night. Bye-bye.